Hello! I hope you're all well. My name is Felicity and on behalf of Milk Crate Theatre I am going to be talking to you about uh, values and how they relate to work and how to approach work as an artist. So for me how you value the world, yourself, your relationships and your place within the world is kind of inextricably linked to how you approach work. Um, I think it influences the choices that you make in the works that you create or the characters that you create and I think the more that you know about yourself and what you value the more you're going to be able to speak to those things within a work. So it just means a greater level, level of depth is going to be able to be created. So in terms of values, it's having to think about what you think about the world. So as a little exercise, uh, write down my worldview is, I think people, I am And let's just leave it there. So you can either do this now or after the video, but take a moment to try and fill in the blanks and get to know what it is that you think about the world as it is at the moment, people as they are at the moment, family, yourself, etc. And this can kind of go on ad infinitum. Uh, and it can and should change because you change and people change and the world changes so it should reflect that. So once you've done that I think you can then go into having to think about how you approach work or performance or the characters that you play etc. And for me whenever I'm starting a new work generally I, I'm a director so generally I either have a script that I'm working with or some text or an idea and group of people etc. Uh, so when I first get this, this kind of data, this information, I try and do um, a little checklist of things. So firstly it's, a, it's just a whole bunch of questions uh, and I like to think about you know good starting places as questions because questions are easy. Anyone can have them, everyone should have them. They show curiosity and I think as artists at our core we're just curious, curious animals. Um, so for me the first thing I like to do is um, a little bit of uh, you know rapid writing, uh, automatic writing. So it, that means after you've read something or after you've looked at something taking a good three minutes, five minutes, however long you like, and just write as much as you can about that. So you, from that you are trying to stop your brain from thinking or being too clever. Um, I think that happens a lot as artists. We uh, feel the pressure of needing to deliver something, especially actors. They often feel the pressure of needing to perform or needing to be interesting. Uh, but in my opinion, you know, you're interesting enough. You don't need to force it. So doing this automatic writing just gets your, your brain ticking over straight away what you like and dislike about it, what images stuck for you, what bits of writing stuck for you, what questions you have, what worked, what didn't work, etc. So after I've done that, I like to write down these questions. Uh, why am I doing it? What do I want to say? What does it look like? What is it? What isn't it? And I also like to do a little sensorial map which for me comprises it smells like, it tastes like, it sounds like, it feels like, it smells like. So those might seem like abstract notions, uh, but for me I can go between abstract and literal uh, fairly easy, easily. Um, 
I had quite a kind of visual mind. So for me, going abstract and, you know, being able to dream quite broadly and widely is helpful because then, you know, I've got a universe to choose from and then from that I can discern or pick the different bits and pieces that I think are really, really key. In terms of uh, what do I want it to say? That was one of my questions. I think it is. Uh, so why am I interested in doing it? Uh, what do I want it to say? That's always, always about an audience because theatre and performance is obviously uh, defined by having an audience. So for me, that's around what is the take home message? What do I want them to think about? What do I, what do I want them to feel? What do I want them to say afterwards? What do, like, what images do I want to create? What memories do I want to create? Things like that. Uh, and in terms of dramaturgy, that often is, or, or you know, looking at the, the text in detail, that often is like the moral of the piece, is related to the moral of the piece or the... Uh, the super objective of the work, if we're going to be very, you know, specific. Um, and then into the other questions, what does it look like? Uh, this for me is an abstract thing. So for example, Romeo and Juliet, if I was to say what it looks like for me, it is, uh, I mean, it's kind of like a tug of war. Um, and you've just got these two, you know, big, families like one's red and one's blue and they're just kind of constantly pushing and pulling um yeah so for me that is a kind of image works something where you know it's always active tension is always rife um and there's clearly like two very defined sides so that's an example uh what does it look like what is it um so for me if I was to do, if I was to apply that to Romeo and Juliet, uh, Romeo and Juliet for me is uh, a warning about fighting. So it's a big warning label with warning lights or something like that. What isn't it? It is not, uh, for me it is, not an instructional video about teen romance. <laughs> it might just be odd, I'm not sure if that works or not. But again, it's all about first impressions and trying to like excavate your mind. So for me, these are the, the absolute fabulous tools that I use to try and like dig through what's going on in the whirlwind of my head and try and find some bits that work. So what is it, what isn't it, what it looks like? Um, I think that's most of the things that I'd said. And then, in terms of the um, in terms of the sensorial map, I like to do that because it helps really define uh, some things for design. It helps get me into kind of the world of the piece, or if there's different worlds or competing worlds, it helps me define that. Um, it helps also create a personal connection for me uh, and the piece. So again, I'm excavating as many memories and images and connections that I have to this work in order to make it as rich and full and accessible as possible uh, so that I can bring all of these ideas, think about them, distill them, and then bring them into a rehearsal, rehearsal room where performers and whatever other artists can latch onto and use them as points of reference as well. So that for me is kind of just a couple of tidbits on how to potentially create or approach the creation of work. So I hope that's helpful. Peace.